Good morning, everyone, and I hope this day finds you well. Um, I'm Pastor Roger Barons, and for, th for our uh, morning devotion today, I chose to take another one of our readings for this upcoming weekend, the reading from 1 Peter. Because um, I think it's, it really speaks to us at this time of uncertainty, of, you know, and I think some of us can call this a time uh, of suffering. If there is anything that um, kind of mimics the concept of suffering for us very privileged folks in this world, I think this time of seclusion, this time of separation is certainly in that arena of suffering. But let me read this text from 1 Peter. It begins, it's in chapter 1, begins at verse 3 and goes through verse 9. So blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you who are being protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, even if now for a little while you have had to suffer various trials, so that the genuineness of your faith, being more precious than gold that, that through per perishable is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Although you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with an undes indescribable and glorious joy, for you are receiving the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. So I think this um, <clears throat> this text kind of reminded me of a song that is has been recorded by a number of artists, um, and I don't have the singing voice this morning, um, even if I drink coffee. But I wanted to share the lyrics with you a little bit, and you can uh, seek them out. And I think it pretty much falls in the country uh, music arena. But the the text goes like this. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day to day. And I don't know, I don't borrow from its sunshine, for its skies may turn to gray. And I don't worry about my future, for I know what Jesus said. And today he walks beside me, for he knows what lies ahead. Many things about tomorrow I don't seem to understand. But I know, I know, I know who holds tomorrow, and I know who holds, who holds my hand. And I think this song kind of expresses quite a lot about how many of us are probably feeling right now. Uh, a bit of anxiety and yet hope, right? What lies ahead is not clear for us. And for the most part, we had a pretty solid direction in our lives up until these past weeks. For the most part, I think everything seemed to be quite out of our control over these this past month, though, does it not? But I think just like in this text from 1 Peter, the people who are, were looking for some assurance as well. And in this text, the faith of the people is challenged, challenged, but the writer reminds the people that what they had, had been given as a new hope through Jesus Christ, and through that hope, they have inherited the future, which is protected by the power of God. Even if for this moment in time, we are suffering just a bit. And these trials should serve to strengthen our faith, is what is said in this text from 1 Peter. So I think in these times of dis, you know, discomfort for us, this if 
you know, somewhat suffering, this uh, separation, this lack of freedom, this inability to be together uh, as people of God in our communities. It's hard. It's hard. But through First Peter and these words, we are given hope because through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Christ, we walk right next to him. God is with us all throughout. And through this, our faith will be strengthened forevermore. I really think that this is the good news of today. So let us pray. Lord God, as we walk through these days of uncertainty, help us, help us to know that you are beside us. Help us to know that you strengthen our faith. Help us and remind us of your presence in our daily lives. Be with all of us as we struggle to find meaning, struggle to find understanding, struggle with hope for the future. But Lord God, we know through your Son, Jesus Christ, that we are saved, we are lifted up, and our future is promised by you. In your name we pray all of this. Amen. Well, God be with you all this morning and forevermore. Uh, we will have our Bible study here in eh, at 11 o'clock. And uh, so hopefully you can join me for that time as we continue to journey through the Gospel of Mark. Um, blessings to you. Bye-bye.